Hello everyone. I welcome you all in the fourth lecture on topic percentages, where we are going to learn another important concept, which is again very important when it comes to percentage calculations. That is concept of base. So that is the agenda for today's session. Let's move forward. So before I start with base concept, it is very crucial for us to know the utility of this concept. Where do we use it? Whenever someone is performing a percentage calculation, the crucial part of doing a percentage calculation is to write down a fraction correctly. So through base concept, we are going to learn how to write down a fraction. And to be more specific, we are going to learn what value to write down in base or denominator. So let us understand base concept using a very easy example. Let's say there are two variables a and b where the value of a is 40 while the value of b is 50. So what I have done here in this example I have picked up two variables where a is 40 and b is 50. Now what I am going to do I am going to compare these two variables in four different ways. And now I'm going to present those four ways in front of you. So let me begin with the first question. The first question which can be framed while comparing the two variables or two entities or two groups. A is what percent of B? A is what percent of B? So while we do any percentage calculation, as I said in the very start, the important step is to write down the fraction correctly. So let us learn how to write down the fraction first. So for doing this calculation, A is what percent of B? First, you need to identify the reference variable. You need to identify the reference variable. You would say, sir, in this question, we are comparing A with respect to B. So the reference variable is B. Now, whatever is the reference variable, that is going to be the value of base or value of denominator. And that is concept of base for you. So in any question of percentage, the first step is to identify the reference variable. Because the reference variable is something which I am going to write down in denominator. So let's try to write down the fraction now. To calculate A is what percent of B? In numerator, I am going to write down the value of A. And since I am comparing A with respect to B, I will write B or the value of B in the denominator. And then how do we convert a fraction in terms of percentage? You would say, sir, we'll multiply it by 100. This is how we calculate A is what percent of B. So let us plug in the values of A and B. The value of A is 40, while the value of B is 50. If you just multiply it by 100, you'll get your answer as 80%. Simple. Okay, let me discuss the second question, which can be framed here. B is what percent? of A. So in this question, we are trying to compare the value of B with respect to A. So this time, if I ask you which one is the reference variable, you would say, sir, A is the reference variable. A is the reference variable. And therefore, while writing down fraction, I'll make sure that I write the variable A in the denominator. All right. So let's write down the fraction now. B is what percent of a so let's write the value of a in the denominator and then how to convert a fraction you already know multiplied by 100 so let's plug in the values again b's value is 50 a's value is 40 and then multiply by 100 you will get your answer it's going to be 125 percent all right now let me show you the third way to compare the two variables so another way to compare the two variables could be a is how much percent, how much percent less than B, less than B. So the first step to calculate the answer in terms of percentage is to write down a fraction. So in fraction, let's first talk about the numerator value. What value to write down in numerator? Now to find out the numerator value, I'm going to read this question once. A is how much percent less than B. So for now, you can skip the percentage sign, overlook the percentage sign and try to answer the question. A is how much less than B? A, B se kitna kam hai? So to find out ki A, B se kitna kam hai, what I'm going to do? I'm going to find out the difference. So what to write down in numerator? The difference between the two variables. So you would say, sir, numerator mein hum log difference likhenge. So let me write down. I'm just generalizing. We'll write difference in the numerator. 
and then with difference i have to either use positive sign or negative sign but depends on the question agar question mein less likha hai aur koi bhi synonymous word likha hai jisse mujhe samajh mein aa raha hai ki wo kam hai so i am going to use a negative sign i am going to use a negative sign with difference agar question mein more ya koi synonymous word likha hai to main wahan pe kya karunga main wahan pe positive sign use karunga clear acha now the second question is what to write down in denominator or what to write down in base so whatever we have followed in the last two question i am going to follow the same thing to find out the variable to write down in denominator i am going to see what is the reference variable so when calculating a is how much percent less than b can you tell me the reference variable you would say sir reference variable is b only why b because again i am trying to compare the value of a with respect to b and therefore in this particular question i should write the value of b as the base value and once the fraction is written it is very easy to convert a fraction in terms of percentage multiplied by 100 once you do so you will get your answer so let's try to uh, you know use it a is how much less you would say sir the value of a is 10 less in terms of value it is 10 less 10 less than what 10 less than the value of b and therefore i am going to write down the value of b in the denominator and then will multiply by 100 to convert this fraction in terms of percentage will multiply by 100 once you simplify you will get your answer as 20% with a negative sign so if someone ask you a is how much percent less than b you would say a is 20% 20% less than b i hope this is clear to you now let me present the fourth question in front of you in fact the final question the final question is b is how much percent more than more than a so let's try to answer this question in the similar fashion as we uh, did in the third one okay the so first step is to write down the fraction so hum fraction kaise likhenge so to write down the fractional value first define numerator again we are trying to find a difference between the two variables isn't it dekho yahan pe jo word use kiya hai although wo different hai agar tum dekhoge to yahan pe unhone pucha hai ki b ka value a se kitna zyada hai so when you try to answer the question ki b ka value a se kitna zyada hai you would realize ki again i need to find out the difference only तो कोई किससे कितना ज्यादा है या कितना कम है उसके लिए सबसे पहला स्टेप क्या है हम न्यूमरेटर में डिफरेंस लिखेंगे राइट बट दिस टाइम दिस गोइंग टू बी अ लिटिल चेंज व्हाट चेंज सिंस दे हैव यूज्ड मोर इन द क्वेश्चन सो आई विल बी यूजिंग अ पॉजिटिव साइन टू शो दैट समथिंग इज बिगर समथिंग इज मोर क्लियर एंड देन व्हाट टू राइट इन डिनोमिनेटर इट्स वेरी इजी व्हाटएवर वी हैव फॉलोड इन लास्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन आई विल यूज द सेम सेम थिंग what to write in denominator with whatever i'm comparing so while calculating b is how much percent more than a i'm comparing b with respect to a and therefore i'm going to write the value of a as the base value and then we'll multiply by 100 and i'll get my answer in terms of percentage so let's apply it now difference is 10 but i'll write down difference with a positive sign now because the value of b is 10 more you can see this the value of b is 10 more than value of a so let's write down the value of a in numerator 40 so can you realize the change in base just focus here how the base is changing in third question you will find the value of b in denominator why because b was the reference variable but in the fourth one you will see the value of a in the numerator why because a was the reference variable so this is how concept of base works i hope now things are clear then you will multiply by 100 to find out the answer it's going to be 25% with the positive sign 25% more it means the value of b is 25% more than a so this concludes the concept of base for us and now it's time to see the application of this concept let's start with the questions so in this question it says that if salary of a is 20% more than that of b by how much percent salary of b less than that of a what the first statement says ki a ki salary b ke respect mein 20% zyada hai can i say ki a ki jo salary hai wo b ke salary pe dependent hai in fact a ki salary b ke respect mein 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट कम है कि ज्यादा है इट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट मोर एंड सिंस इट इज मोर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ पॉजिटिव साइन अब इंटरेस्टिंगली यू रियलाइज कि यहां पे हमको बी और ए दोनों की सैलरी नहीं बताई है इसका मतलब आई एम फ्री टू एज्यूम एनी वैल्यू हेयर और क्योंकि ए की वैल्यू इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन बीज वैल्यू सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ अज्यूमिंग दी सैलरी ऑफ बी तो बी की सैलरी को अज्यूम करेंगे और वहां से हम ए की सैलरी फाइंड आउट करने की कोशिश करेंगे एंड वट कुड बी अ बेटर वैल्यू देन हंड्रेड क्यों क्योंकि हंड्रेड एक अच्छा नंबर है फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ परसेंटेज सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू अज्यूम दी सैलरी ऑफ बी एज हंड्रेड If salary of B is hundred, what is the salary of A? You would say, sir, twenty percent more. So first, I am going to calculate twenty percent of hundred. What is twenty percent of hundred? You would say, sir, twenty percent of hundred is going to be twenty only. It means A salary is twenty more than salary of B. So just add hundred and twenty, you will get the salary of A. And once I have the salaries of two, I can answer this question very easily. What is the question, please? Read it again. By how much percent salary of B less than that of A? And I've already discussed how to deal with this type. Since they have used less in numerator, I'm going to write down the value of difference. So let us first find out the difference. कि B की salary A से कितनी कम है? B की salary A के respect में कितनी कम है? You would say, sir, the salary of B is twenty less. Since it is less, I'm going to use a negative sign. अच्छा वाइल वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग कि बी की सैलरी कितनी कम है मैंने बी की सैलरी को किससे कंपेयर किया तुम बोलोगे सर आपने ए से कंपेयर किया और जिससे हम कंपेयर करते हैं वो हमारा रेफरेंस वेरिएबल होता है और इसी रेफरेंस वेरिएबल को वी राइट इट डाउन इन डिनोमिनेटर और इन बेस सो मैं बेस में क्या लिखूंगा मैं बेस में ए की सैलरी लिखूंगा एंड वट इज दैलरी ऑफ ए इट इज वन ट्वेंटी and once the fraction is written it is very easy to convert a fraction in terms of percentage multiply by 100 let's simplify 20 upon 120 is same as writing 1 upon 6 and what is 1 by 6 in terms of percentage now this is something which we had already discussed in the first lecture i hope you can recall what is 1 by 6 remember a important fraction the percentage equivalent of 1 by 6 is 16.66% and with what sign With a negative sign, it means the salary of B is 16.66 percent less than that of A, and that is the answer of my question. I hope you were able to understand this. After understanding this particular question, I want you to show one more question where nothing has changed, only the percentage values change. If you look at the structure and language of question, everything is same, right? The only difference is. Guys, if I ask you how this question is different from the last one, you would say, sir, there is only one small change. Instead of using a whole number percentage value here, you have used a decimal percentage value. Unlike in the last question, where the percentage value was given to us in whole number form. In this question, the same percentage value is given to us in decimal form, and that is the only change. so through this question we are going to see how to approach a question of this type let me write down what we are given with it says the salary of a is 8.33% more than that of b so let me write it down for you the salary of a is dependent on b it's how much percent more it's 8.33% more If I try to approach this question with a similar fashion, so you would say, sir, let us assume the salary of B as hundred, and therefore the salary of A will become one hundred eight point three three. Why? Because eight point three three percent of hundred is eight point three three. So if you add this to base value hundred, the salary of A will become hundred and eight point three three. Right. Now, if you try to answer the question, please. See where is the challenge? If you try to answer the question by how much percent salary of B less than that of A, again they have used this word less here. So in case of this, what we have learned first find out the difference. The salary of B is how much less? You would say, sir, the salary of B is eight point three three less. So let me write down this thing in numerator. Eight point three three less. The salary of B eight point three three less than what? You would say, sir, the reference variable is A here. 
and therefore i'm going to write the value of a in the denominator something which we have learned in the last question as well and then to convert this fraction in terms of percentage will multiply by 100 now look at this fraction is it a conducive value are they conducive values for calculation of percentage the answer is no and therefore this is not a feasible way to approach this question so now let me tell you what could be a better approach to solve the same question yes we'll learn how to approach a question where percentage values are given to us in decimal form i hope you were able to understand the challenge right now let's learn the approach the new approach so what are we given with that the salary of a is 8.33 percent more so please realize the change in the second approach instead of using the percentage value i'm going to use its fractional equivalent something which we are already aware about so if i ask you what is the fractional equivalent of 8.33 percent you would say sir it's 1 by 12 and what is the sign in front of 8.33 percent it is a positive sign it means i need to increase a number by 1 by 12 so please learn the shortcut the shortcut to find out the answer what is the trick here the trick is this time instead of assuming the salary of b as 100 as we did in the first approach we are going to assume the salary of b as the denominator of the fraction what is the denominator of the fraction you would say 12 it means now i'm going to calculate 1 by 12 of this number so if i ask you what is 1 by 12 of 12 you would say 1 by 12 of 12 is 1. another thing that you should realize if you look at the numerator of the fraction just focus on the numerator of the fraction see this value you would say sir it is 1 so from now on i don't need to calculate that what is 1 by 12 of my assumed value it is always going to be it is always going to be the value written in numerator hamesha jo value numerator mein likha hoga utne se hi mujhe increase or decrease karna hai so agar yahan pe plus sign hai i am going to increase it agar wahan pe minus sign hoga i am going to decrease it but i need to make sure ki jo main initial value lunga us case mein wo denominator value hona chahiye so what is the trick the trick is mera initial value or you would say ki jis value ko hum assume karenge mera jo assumed value hoga wo hamesha denominator value hoga jo numerator value hoga wo mujhe ye batayega ki number ko kitne se badhana ya ghatana hai so in this case i have to increase my number by 1 right so please write down plus 1 here so if i increase 12 by 1 it will get converted to 13 and since now the values are in integral form doing the percentage calculation would be an easy task for me right so let's try to answer the question now the salary of b is how much percent less than that of a so in values term you would say sir the salary of b is one less so let me write down this one less in numerator since salary of b is one less than that of a therefore i am going to write down the salary of a in denominator that is by the use of base concept i hope you can recall and then what is 1 by 13 in terms of percentage something which we are already aware about now there are two values which we use in quantitative aptitude for 1 by 13 one is 7.7 percent 7.7 percent how would you recall this remember 13 is an unlucky number followed by two lucky numbers if you not find 7.7 percent .7 written in the option you will find 7.69 percent in one of the options and how would you recall this 7.69 percent very easy what is square of 13 you would say sir square of 13 is 169 what will you do now just put decimal after two digits and it has to be 7 not 1 so 7.69 percent so these are the two ways using which you can remember the two values and then you can mark your answer accordingly right so with this we have come to an end of this session and if you have enjoyed the session regardless to say please like the video share it among your friends and subscribe the channel thank you and have a nice day